For once, the country has been anxiously awaiting the vaccine that will protect us from COVID-19, but its effectiveness depends on a few things. 12 News' Kate Cornell is here to explain the most important factor. Kate, what did you learn? Byron, I spoke to a specialist this afternoon and a couple of people about where their heads are as far as getting the vaccine, which could impact the results. The responses I've gotten have been, let's just say, mixed. Are you going to get the vaccine when it becomes available? No, I will not. I will? No. Undecided. Liz Charlotte with the State Health Department says that we can expect the vaccine to be available sometime in the spring before healthy general public individuals would have the opportunity. Thomas Rosen says he will not be getting the vaccine because he believes the precautions he's been taking all along will do the trick. I haven't got sick and I take precautions, so I wash my hands, I wear my mask, I stay away from people. <laughs> Rosen's friend Richard Babcock says that if the first people who get the vaccine have good experience with it, he'd reconsider it in a few months. If it, they don't have like severe side effects and all this other crazy stuff, you know what I mean? Because you don't know what a new drug's going to, what a new vaccine might do to somebody, you know. You know. Candace Johnson is on the fence. I'm hesitant of taking it because I don't know what it is, but I also didn't know what measles were or chicken pox, and I also took the vaccine. So, the only solid yes I was able to find was from Daniel Wallace. Because that's the thing to do. I think that's the thing to do. God wants them to do. It. Dr. Amy Holman with the MEA's Spillway Clinic says that in order for the vaccine to work in a widespread fashion, there's a specific number of people who will need to get it. To reach herd immunity, we need probably at least 70% of the population to get the vaccination. Dr. Holman has a question that she wants everyone to ask themselves. What's worse, side effects from a vaccine or actually experiencing the coronavirus? The side effects from the vaccination appear that they're going to be very mild, certainly compared to having the illness itself. Dr. Holman says that she hopes healthy, able-bodied people not in favor will consider changing their minds. You really need to think about other people too because the people who are going to need hospitalization may not have access to that very soon. We're kind of hitting that capacity we've been worried about. Dr. Holman estimates about 10% of every day's diagnoses will require hospitalization.